Welcome to DOS Geek. So what we have here is our Chromebook, and I've installed Crouton on it. The instructions to install it will be in the link below. You're going to follow lifehacker.com's instructions. I found them to be the easiest, the best, and most thorough. I find Lifehacker to be that way for most everything. I love that site. So go check them out there. But we have Crouton installed on here. So what does that mean? Well, we've shown you in my prior videos, if you haven't seen them checked out, the power of Chrome OS. It's not just a browser. You can do web development in it. You can do gaming in it. It is a lot of fun. It's fantastic to watch videos on, etc. It's a very great operating system, and it's based on Linux. The great thing, Chromium OS, technically, the great thing about that is that we can also install Linux, the actual... Uh, semi-full version of XFCE or KDE-like desktop environment with the Linux kernel in the background so that we can also play and use full applications because some of the applications in Chrome OS are limiting, meaning you can do web development things, but if you want to use Atom or Sublime Text or you're used to some of those programs or FileZilla, you're not going to get those in the Play Store. There are alternatives, and they work pretty good, but you're not going to have that same familiar environment. So once you get Linux on there... You can do that. Now, what the great thing is, you don't have to give up Chrome OS to do that. You can switch back and forth between them, and you don't even have to reboot. Like when you do that, say, if you add Linux onto your computer and you have Windows 10, you may, every time you reboot, it give you an option to boot into one or the other, whereas I can boot into Linux right here from my machine. The first thing we're going to do is control alternate T, and that's going to pull up what looks like a terminal running through a browser here. And so once I type shell in here, if I could spell it right, then I'm going to get this root prompt here. So you're going to have to do sudo start xfce4. And once we do that, you're going to notice that things are going to change and you're going to be booting into Linux. Notice the whole computer didn't reboot and now we are in xfce Linux here. So... I've got my typical Linux options, my terminal em emulator. You can see I installed Steam. I have the additional drivers option, although that doesn't work. Some of these features like the you know, software managers and things like that do not seem to work. I haven't been able to get them to work yet. There may be ways to get them to work. So you're going to have to use the terminal in this case, whereas in a lot of Linux distributions today, if you don't want to use the terminal, you don't have to with uh, crouton you're going to have to get used to the terminal some and your terminal commands are really going to stick to just a few sudo apt-get update sudo apt-get upgrade sudo apt-cache search for different programs you want to install and uh, sudo apt-get install in the program's name those are the main ones that you need to really use crouton you can look those up online how do i install a program in the terminal how do i search for a program in the terminal and you'll see them there they're really simple, so we can go to a terminal emulator here, and I'll show you each of those. So we can do, let's say we want to look for a particular program. We can do sudo apt cache search and filezilla. And we'll have to enter in our password that you'll have set up once you've done the install. And you can see my options there, filezilla, filezilla, comma. Well, I just want to install filezilla, so I can do sudo apt get install filezilla. I already have it installed, I'm pretty sure it is already installed, so it's just going to tell me nothing was added. But if you hadn't done that, it would ask you to install there. Um, and let's see, sudo apt get update to update your system. And your repositories there that are available, what software is available. And then just sudo apt get upgrade to upgrade your system here. And there are some other commands and things that you'll learn as you go through to update to different crouton versions, etc. But for right now, those will get you by everything you need to install programs, etc. So one of the things you may see here that you find really interesting, so we talked about FileZilla and Atom and those type of programs, or uh, Carrot is actually available in Chrome OS, uh, but you see Steam is there. GIMP is here, so a more powerful photo editor. Caden Live is on here, so a very powerful video editing program. And all these are completely open source and free for you to play with and try. And you can see some of those sublime text now we have. Simple Note, 
all of those programs. But Steam's probably one of the ones that's going to interest a lot of you because now you're not stuck with just the Steam, uh, the Play Store, all of those games that you've invested in with Steam that are capable of running on your particular hardware, you'll be able to run through this, which I think is just absolutely amazing. And of course, you can install your browsers, etc. And it runs really well. I will say there are times when I was doing certain things, especially when I first installed Crouton, where it would hesitate for a few seconds and then everything would proceed normally. So you may have some performance issues, but just think about the amazingness of open source developers coming in and creating this. And I can switch back to Chrome OS, which I'll show you in a minute, with just a simple key combination. So you're not giving up anything. You still get all the power and you get Linux on top of it and it takes up almost no space at all. This is just absolutely incredible when you look at the file system. Actually, we'll go back into uh, Chrome and I'll show you how much space total that we've taken up doing this, but it's, it's like six gigabytes total with all the programs I had installed in Chrome OS and with Linux on top of it and with Steam and everything else. It, it's extremely minimal. So we can go to our library and we could take a look at our games and what we can install and you want to go down here, of course, and choose SteamOS plus Linux. And I have 92 games available uh, on Linux that I can play. Now, not all of these would play. Some of the higher-end games would not play well because this doesn't have an independent graphics card on the Chromebook, but something like Faster Than Light. Well, let's check it out. So we can go full screen here. We can do New Game. And you can see everything's running very, very smoothly. And we can jump to different solar systems. No lag, no issues, runs beautifully. I, I've played this game for probably 20, 30 minutes, had absolutely no problem at all. And this is a new install on it with Crouton, so I haven't played with it a ton, but things seem to be working tremendously well. I better get my weapons going here. <clears throat> and so you can have an absolute blast adding in the power of Linux to your Chrome OS, your Chrome tablet, and you're just going to absolutely be amazed because now you have the full power of these absolute complete app desktop applications in the hands of this portable, super thin, awesome battery life laptop. And we'll switch back here in a second. So if you want to watch videos or you prefer something in the Chrome OS arena, you could certainly do that. And I'm dying here. I can't even get my weapons back on. We're in big trouble. We've got fires going. This isn't a good game. So we'll go ahead and kill that and I'll show you how we go back to Chrome now. So we're going to do a simple key combination here, control alternate shift and then the back button at the top of the computer. So the forward and back button. And you can see now we're back at this browser here where it looks like a terminal and it's shutting everything down from that. But I can just minimize that and let it, let it, do, its, let it do its thing and continue using Chrome OS. How awesome is that? The power of Linux on the Chromebook, making this a super awesome solution. You can get these for such a great price with high definition screens now, fantastic mouse pads, great hardware, and you can have Steam and all of those full applications like FileZilla, Atom, Sublime Text, development stuff, graphic editing, video editing capabilities right here on this laptop. Tell me this isn't the coolest thing you've seen in a long time. Hit me up in the comments below. We're going to do more of this. I just wanted to show you the power of Crouton on a Chromebook. Let me know what you think. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Go